Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing a thrifted versus styled decorating video. I hope you enjoy coming along with me as I transform this open shelving here in my kitchen. We're also going to be going to the thrift store. I went thrifting yesterday and found a few gems and then I will share pulling the whole thing together, how I take those thrifted items and use them in my home. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's jump right in. So I went to Value Village and Salvation Army yesterday on the hunt and I did find a couple gems. Let me take you to the thrift store now. I'll show you what they had and then we'll come back here and I will share my items with you and then we will do some decorating. I also have a really simple thrift flip to share with you. Lots happening in today's video. Let's first head to the thrift store and see what we can find. My first stop was Value Village. I love how this store organizes the shelves by item. I find it so easy to browse, kind of looking for specific things. Although sometimes you do find things in different sections. I always recommend if you have the time, try and browse every single aisle because you will find things kind of tucked away. But I was looking for different shapes, anything unique that I could use on the shelf styling. I thought that this was really cool. I loved the shape of it. It was a little expensive for me at $6.99, so I did leave it, but I loved the color and the shape. I then headed over to the basket section. The price point on these flowers were $2.99. I thought they were really pretty. And then I just had a look to see if I could see anything else in the floral section. That basket actually is really pretty, the one that was behind those florals. Sometimes when you're looking in the moment, it's hard to see everything. Um, I really loved this tray too, so pretty. I'm always on the hunt for trays. They're so great for styling. You can kind of group items on them and create a nice vignette. And I feel like it makes it look less busy and just more purposeful and a great kind of landing space for whatever you're decorating. You can find tons of them at the thrift store. Of course, I headed over to the planter section, one of my favorite places to look. I find I'm so drawn to planters like that one where they kind of look handmade and they're a little bit more kind of rustic. I love the natural element that they bring to a space when they have that like terracotta. I just created it in the back with some clay, that kind of look. This one was a really cool shape, but as you can see, the price was $3.99 regularly and they were selling it for $4.99. So I left it behind, but definitely that would have been a nice piece to paint with a little bit of baking soda to give it that texture. My next stop was our local Salvation Army thrift store. I love this store too. Lately, I've been finding a lot of gems. They organize everything by color, but as you can see, that black bowl was in the wrong spot. So again, always have a look if you can, kind of move things, look around, because sometimes people will just randomly put things back, and those are often the gems that you can use beautifully in your space. This was a beautiful handmade pottery piece. I loved the shape of the bowls, the feet on them, it just was very, very pretty. And I also loved these pink glasses. I thought they were so beautiful and would be something perfect to serve with like ice cream. They had a beautiful vintage vibe to them. They were 99 cents each. I also loved these plates. I'm gonna show you here in a second. They were very pretty and would be perfect for spring. There was only four of them. They were $1.99 each, but nonetheless, I thought that the shape and just the pattern on them was beautiful. I did leave with some gems. I'm excited to share those now. Okay, so from the first stop, which was Value Village, the first thing I found was this beautiful cutting board. I do have a lot of dark colors going on in my kitchen, especially with my granite, so I thought that this was really quite beautiful. 
And this was only $5.99. And of course, you know, I did have a 20% off coupon for donating. So I was able to use that on top to save some money. But I loved the shape of this. I enjoy using cutting boards as backdrops on my vignettes. I have one here in my kitchen that you can see behind me with my oil and my vinegar. And I'm thinking of using one kind of on the shelf to just, I feel like it helps to highlight items in front of it and just kind of creates visual interest as well. So I was happy to find this. The next item I found was this vase, and I love the color of this vase. It's so beautiful as is. I don't have to do anything to it. And you would never know that on the back side there is this image, but I simply plan on using it facing this way. Beautiful piece, nice and solid, and I actually have one that I thrifted previously, so it's interesting that I found another one. It was only $4.99, and I was happy to find this as well to use. To me, this looks so beautiful and something that you would find in a high-end store for sure. The next item I found was this beautiful pot and I loved the shape of it. And this is a gorgeous piece of stoneware. It says oven to table. So this is something that I can use functionally in my kitchen. And I do enjoy when an item is both functional and something that I can use to style with in my home. And I just loved this. And I visualize it with like smaller vintage rolling pins. Like maybe this can be a crock that I use to collect those. And true story, I found a bunch of them thrifting a few weeks ago and I didn't bring them home. <laughs> and now, I'm as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness. I wish I brought those rolling pins home. It was like a pack of five or six of them. That's okay. I'm going to be on the hunt or use it in another way, but I thought this was something beautiful that I could use, whether I use it here on the shelves or I keep it for another spot in my kitchen. I will definitely put this beauty to use. And this one was $6.49, and of course I had 20% off on top of that. So the next thrift store I went to was the Salvation Army and I got lucky there too. The first thing I found were these gorgeous wood bowls. These are handmade. They are marked June 3rd, 2014, like just with a pen or pencil. They're so, so beautiful. And they were only 99 cents each, which I think was a great deal. I also had a 20% off coupon at the Salvation Army, so I did save an additional amount of money on all of my items, but I thought these were so pretty. I picture these stacked on a bunch of cookbooks and just will look so pretty here in my kitchen. And a little hack, if you have a couple of bowls, one is a little bit smaller, you can simply take the smaller one, turn it upside down, add the bigger one on top and you create a beautiful pedestal bowl piece that you could use to style as well. So I don't know if I'm gonna use it like this or like this. We'll have to kind of play around and see what we like, but I thought that these were so great and I was happy to find them. The next item I found was this really pretty bowl. I knew that I was looking for some black pieces because like I shared in my last thrifted versus styled video, when I'm decorating shelves, I like to use similar items on each shelf, kind of in a zigzag pattern. So I knew I needed to add a little bit of black and I, when I saw this sitting on the shelf, I was like, that's perfect. Love the color, love the shape and I think it will look really nice up there on the shelf. It was only $1.99, so definitely a steal. The next thing kind of surprised me. It was this crystal rooster. This is a heavy, solid piece. And something about it, I just really loved it. I love this kind of modern take on roosters in the kitchen. I thought it was something that was simple, yet fun and felt collected and eclectic to me, which is definitely my personal style. So I was happy to find it. It was $4.99 and like I said, is a really nice solid piece. So whether I use this as a bookend or simply to display, I just, I really liked it and I'm happy that I was able to find it. I knew I wanted to find a couple cookbooks and I didn't get lucky at either store. I did however find this book at the Salvation Army it says milk and honey, and I liked just kind of the simplicity of the black and the white, and I thought that this was something that I could use in styling. It was only 99 cents, 
and is a really, really pretty modern print. I like the lowercase font and just felt like it looked something that was a little bit more modern and kind of gave me the kitchen vibe with the milk and the honey. So I'm gonna see if I can use this on the shelf today. The last couple items I found, I don't know if I will use in this styling, but like I say, you never know what you're gonna find. And I found this solid piece of marble. It's a candlestick holder, a, a tapered candlestick holder. It was $2.99. In my last thrifting video, I shared my marble egg cups that I had found. I love those. And I've just been really drawn to marble. So when I saw this just sitting on the shelf, I was like, I feel like I could use that somehow. Whether it's to like hold matches, cause that seems to be what I'm like turning everything into for candles or use in its intended purpose with a candlestick. I just feel like this was a really good find and definitely something that you will find in higher end stores. McGee & Co has something like this on their website right now. So I was happy to find this for only $2.99. I found a set of six napkin rings and I loved the wood finish on them. I think they're so pretty. I felt like they were both collected but yet modern in the same way. And I just feel like they would be something so beautiful on a tablescape. So I was happy to find the set of six for $1.99. So that is everything that I found at the thrift store. Now for the fun part, let's start styling these shelves. Getting started with the shelf styling and I always start with my largest items. I knew I wanted to use this thrifted, beautiful piece of artwork. So I put that on the shelf and then I have this gorgeous piece of pottery that is actually my thrift flip. So I found this piece for $7.99 at my local value village and as soon as i saw it i knew that i could turn this into something that i could use and that would be quite beautiful all i did was remove this decorative we'll call it <laughs> these decorative pieces from the vessel and then i simply painted it with some matte black paint i did two coats and i used a small detail brush i found this quite relaxing and just to really push the paint inside because there was quite a lot of texture. And this is the power of paint. I completely transformed something that most people might have looked over and here's a reminder what it looked like before and here is what it looks like now and i think this piece is so beautiful and looks gorgeous styled with this vintage print so started off with those larger items and now i'm moving to the top of the shelf i love this thrifted copper pot the black detail i thought went really well kind of pulling in more of the blacks we keep the bottom shelf quite functional, so I wanted to stack our white plates and bowls in that section. And again, working in that zigzag pattern, I have that black vessel in the middle of my shelf, like on the middle shelf, and now I'm adding black on the right side on the bottom shelf just to kind of balance everything out. Keeping this bottom shelf functional, I added those beautiful wine glasses that I have thrifted and now adding these gorgeous drinking glasses here. And you see how that black cutting board just creates a beautiful backdrop for the glasses. I thought that this black bowl needed a little something. I also try and create different heights on each shelf as you can see, kind of just creates again more visual interest and gives your eyes something to follow i switched over the cutting board just because i thought that the black kind of looked nicer behind the glasses and then having that strip of wood it broke up the black within the bowl my eye just kind of goes to these things and i feel like the best way of doing it is styling something and then you see me kind of standing back because it gives you a snapshot of how your space is looking. Mm -hmm. 
Until I find a couple more cookbooks, I'm simply using a book from my stash. I just turned it so that the spine faced the other way. It's a trick that I use when I need to add height to something and I don't have any cookbooks or books that I want to use showing the spine. I simply just turn it around and I'm just playing around again, trying to create different heights. I tried the bowl using the pedestal trick and then now I'm simply using them stacked and I feel like that just creates kind of a lower height for that specific shelf. Now just trying to find something white to balance out. Do you see that kind of zigzag pattern? I have the cake stand on the right there on the middle shelf and then the bowls and the plates on the bottom left and now I'm trying to find something for the top left and this just helps me so much in styling and it makes it very simple for me. I added some previously thrifted and painted white ginger jars to that top shelf on the left with a glass cloche in front. And then just to finish everything off, I went in and added a thrifted cutting board to highlight some items in front, simple black candlesticks and this thrifted basket with some greenery went in with that sweet little crystal rooster and here is how it turned out so happy with this i think it's beautiful and i can't believe that these were all items just sitting in a thrift store that i was able to use them in such a beautiful way So that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me decorating this open shelving in my kitchen. I'm really happy with how it came out and I hope I was able to inspire your creativity today, show you the power of thrifted versus styled. Thank you so much for being here. I'm truly grateful and can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.